Green grapes are super easy to can and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So why can green grapes? There's a couple reasons that I can green grapes. Um, one of them is that they're inexpensive. They're one of the cheapest fruits that I've found that you can can. When my grocery store um, comes out with a sale on green grapes for like 99 cents a pound, I go ahead and grab a bunch and can some up. That's usually the only time that I can them because I feel like that's cheap enough for me. So um, another reason is that we like them. Um, they kind of turn out like the grapes that are in um, fruit cocktail, you know, the cans of mixed fruit that, that have the grapes in as well. Um, that's kind of what they taste like. Um, some people wonder if they come out um, if they turn out firm like they are when they're fresh and that's not really the case. Um, so if you don't like the grapes and fruit cocktail, you might not like this, but if you do like them, um, you'll definitely like this. So uh, one of the things that my mom did when we were kids, because she used to can these too, um, she would put the canned grapes into little popsicle molds and then you know, fill it with the, the syrup as well. So it was the grapes and the syrup in there and then freeze them into popsicles and they were always really good. So. So the recipe I'm going to share with you today makes one canner load full of these, which would be seven quarts. Um, so what you're going to need is nine or ten pounds of grapes. Um, that will give you about seven quarts of the grapes. Um, you'll also need ten and a half cups of water and four and a half cups of sugar. The water and the sugar will make the syrup. So step one, you're going to want to get your canner uh, about two-thirds full of water and start that on high heat to get it to a boil. Uh, while you're waiting for that to boil, you can wash your grapes and de-stem them and start to pack them in the jars. I fill them about up to this rim here on the jar and then I just wait for the, the rest of my stuff to get ready to go and the grapes are all ready to go. I don't usually heat my jars because by the time I take the jars out of wherever they're heating and then fill them up, they cool back down. So I don't really see much point in heating the jars. Also, while your canner is heating up, you can mix together the water and sugar for your syrup in a separate pan. Um, I've got this one over here. I'm not sure what the capacity it, of it is, but um, it's plenty large enough to hold all that syrup that I'm making. The next step is to ladle the hot syrup into the jars of grapes and after that's in there we're going to jiggle the jars a little bit and work some of the air bubbles out and after that we'll put the lids and the bands on. You want to fill the jars to about a half an inch of headspace, which just means it's a half an inch from the top of the jar, which is about right here. After you've worked the air bubbles out, you put the lid on and put a band on and tighten it down. Don't crank down too tight on that, just until it grabs. And then go ahead and place that on your rack in the canner. Okay, after you have all the jars filled and lids are on, we're going to lower these down into the canner very carefully so we don't jiggle or tip anything too much. And you need to make sure that the water is covering all of the jars. Now we're going to put the lid back on and crank up the heat and get this up to a gentle boil. Once this comes up to a gentle rolling boil, we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes for them to process. While we're waiting for our jars to process, I wanted to give you a couple of tips. Um, these are canning lids, the typical Ball brand canning lids. Um, I recently found out um, that Ball did some extra research on these and they now say that you don't have to heat these before you use them. You can just put them on your jars cold like they are. So that saves you an extra step in canning. If you want to heat them um, before you use them, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it's also not gonna hurt anything if you use them cold. So that's what I'm doing now. Also, if you're looking for a good instructional book for canning, I would recommend the Ball Blue Book. Um, I've had this one for a very long time, so if you go looking for this in the store, it's not going to look like this anymore. Um, but there's lots of good instructions in here on how to can various things, whether you're using a 
hot water bath canner like I'm using today or if you're using a pressure canner. Um, they also give instructions on freezing foods and different things like that. So it's a very handy resource to have on hand. Okay, the jars have finished processing, so we're gonna open up the canner and take them out. Your jars have completely cooled you want to check the seal on them and when you push on the center of the lid if it pops back and forth like that it means that it didn't seal and what you want to do is either eat that right away or put it in the refrigerator also you want to remove the rings from the jars and wipe them clean um, sometimes the stuff that's in the jar will seep out a little bit um, especially with fruit it can tend to get a little bit sticky from the syrup kind of oozing out from under the lid um, so just make sure you wipe those clean so you don't get people's hands sticky or whatever. So that's how you can green grapes. It's pretty simple to do. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, I'm going to be listing the ingredients and instructions on my website. So feel free to head on over there to flannelacres.com to check that out if you need a second look. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.